But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Modded. I think we're on episode 3 here and we're currently in the Vicky and Vance Casino. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've applied uh, an extra couple of mods since last time that we played, uh, so I'll very, very quickly go hey through them. Let's just have a look at me. Oh, do I not look gorgeous with all my new things on? These are part of the TaylorMade mod. Uh, do check it out, ladies and gentlemen. This is a mod that adds uh, uh, certain new types of clothing and new attachments to your clothing that uh, utilize the body slots. It's all really cool and it allows you to customize the gear that you've got on and make yourself look a little bit more unique in the wasteland. In addition to that, I found this Abby. mod here. Let's just have a chat to Delilah. Uh, I'm sure you all remember how she sounded in the last episode. Let's have a word with it. Hey, you need something? Isn't that nice? Could you wait for me here? Okay, I'll try to find something to do. There we go. Uh, as you can see, Delilah, whom is currently on top of things, uh, she now sounds a little bit better. Uh, somebody reworked her sounds uh, and released a sub-mod uh, for her just because uh, they felt that the sounds were a little bit too gritty, if you will, uh, for Fallout New Vegas. In addition to that... Uh, I think I had one more mod somewhere. Oh, wish I met a little puppy. Um, sorry. Hey there. Move along, uh, please. I, I will not move along, Prim. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Well, Ruby, uh, I am just happening to be walking around, you know, doing my own thing. Not at all looking like a bandit, looking very trustworthy and very pleasant. Evidently haven't been near any radi radiation. I'm just a nice guy all around. Now, uh, what I wanted to show you while talking to Ruby here is this menu system here. This is uh, MTUI and it allows more conversation options to be on screen at any given time and it also gives it a slightly different underlay, which is nice. Um, I'm quite glad that I've got this. Uh, anyway, just because Please. that's going to allow me to see more things, uh, in addition to do that I did have to get a oh. UI mod, uh, that's... What's up? What's up? I'd like you to come with me. Come on, let's get going. Alright, I'm ready. That's nice. Let's go. Okay. Right, uh, where were we off to? Uh, let's see what it says on our quest markers, shall we? Quests. They went that away. My kind of town. Let's uh, talk to Beagle quickly before we I go. I heard there are rad scorpions that can get as big as a trailer. Ew. That's, that gives that's me rather creeps large. just thinking of it. <laughs> Hello, well, Beagle. That was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking well, myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? <laughs> well, surely he's the sheriff now. There you go. It is a, a better look at MTUI and what it does. It's given me a lot more conversation options, and, it, and it's designed for things that are 1080p or higher, uh, just because you, you've you got a lot more space on the screen, so you may as well utilize that space. Uh, what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called I Cheney's shot man. the sheriff. But I did not shoot the deputy. More's the shame. Oh, I'll help bring law and order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also yeah. may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Indeed not. Oh look, they didn't shoot the deputy. That's actually the um, <laughs> the mission. Fuck, I'm quite glad I started uh, moaning that. I was going to say singing, but it's, it wasn't really singing, was it, ladies and gentlemen? Howdy. Right. All right, yeah, Delilah's with us. Let's go. I think we're going to head down to the Mojave outpost and see what's going down in the hood. But yeah, they're the newest mods I've got. Um, uh, quite liking the look of them. In addition to that, I'm using, uh... Weather's good as always. Mm. 
This is horrifying weather. Oh, at least the storm's gone now. God, look at it. Full-blown radiation storm. You see this, Delilah? Woo! God, look at it. It looks like flames in the sky. There's a house there. I think partially because I'm using this uh, this weather mod, I do get a little bit of stutter now and then. It's not too bad, but it, it is noticeable. Ooh, sunset star boss. Mine now. Anything else good in here? Nothing that I want. Does this dog actually do anything? Just following me around, causing trouble. Ah, oh, plunger. Let's continue on our way. Kind of weather quite suits me. Uh, what I'm using here is I'm using uh, this Blastmaster Raider Blastmaster leg armor. Uh, I've got I think it's called the Road Warrior, um, like shoulder piece there. In addition to that, you, I already had that scarf, uh, which is Wastelander Scarves 2.0, something like that. I think it's called. Yeah, it's all looking pretty. I've got some Druid boots on as well because I'm cool like that. Oh, and there's some kind of belt going down as well. I can't remember what the belt was, unfortunately. Wait, why am I saying I can't remember? I can just check. Peace, people like me, isn't it? Oh no, the, the belt was the Raider Blastmaster. We've got Druid boots. We've got the Die Hard bag, which we uh, got in the last episode. We've got some Merc Cruiser gloves. That gives me plus 10 speech, which is really nice. Uh, we've got Messi, which is the, the face rag that we picked up from that assassin guy. And we've got the Road Warrior shoulder, which gives me uh, luck, critical chance, and uh, extra gun skills. And the Revealing Waster scarf. Yes. Let's continue. This weather is terrible. It's worthy of goggles. And does cowboy goggles. Oh yeah, fully protected. Let's go. Hope it doesn't break my legs. No, nope, good. Let's see what weapons I've got. Let's uh, try this reforged Wastelanders rifle again. Uh, we didn't do too well with it in the last episode. By virtue of the fact that, uh, well, I thought at the time that the aiming was off. I might be wrong about that. I see people. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, that was definitely bang on, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Alright, let's have another go. Yeah, the aiming's definitely off on here. Definitely off. Let's just take it slow now. Yeah, that was definitely like right in his back. Okay, so I need to aim right of where I was going, and probably slightly up from the looks of things. There was some gunfire over there, I uh, don't know who or what that was. Let's see if he had anything nice on him. 9mm rounds, don't really need any more dynamite at this point. But there's definitely some enemies over there, there was a bit of a gunfight. So let's see what we can do about it. I do really like this, uh, this sky. See anything? What about you, Delilah? You got your eyes on? Oh yeah, there's definitely two enemies there. I see one, I see one. Okay, so it needs to be probably about here. I was entirely incorrect. This is ridiculous. Uh, we won't be using this gun again, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus, and look at that. Yeah. Yeah, there is something that's up with that gun. I think its sights just aren't centered correctly. Which I imagine is a very easy thing to happen. Uh, so. 
can't really give the uh, mod author any trouble for that. Oh, Delilah had it covered. Good job, Delilah. Okay, let's see what these guys had on. This guy had some um, bound leather glove. And I got a cowboy repeater, pre-war hat. And some leather armor. Which I don't think I want. This guy looks like he had leather jacket armor, yep. 10mm pistol, I'll have that. And here we are at the Nevada Highway Patrol Station. I really like the design of these uh, these fallout cars. It's like it's got a jet engine on it. Can't go wrong with a jet engine, can you, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let's sneak in here and see. Oh, there's a dead guy over here. Let's just. Looks like he had another nine millimeter as well. Was he nine millimeter? Stim pack. Cool. Hang on. Yeah, bottle caps. Yeah. Well, that's just rude, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're gonna have to kill everybody in there for that. That insult. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey! How not you like that? <laughs> little dog! <laughs> it's magnificent. Look at this ranger casual outfit. Oh, I don't really like that. Diplomat's poncho. Right. Merc adventurer armoured. Alright, we'll take it. And some maize, just in case we get hungry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, are you happy with me uh, keeping the uh, hardcore mode, I suppose you would call it, off? Or would you prefer that I put hardcore mode on and had uh, food and uh, water needs? It would certainly make it a more in-depth game experience, but is that something that you would prefer to see? Or are you happy with me doing what I want at this point? Uh, there are various HUD modifications that I could show you, um, which deal with your kind of your primary needs, your need to sleep, your need to eat, your need to drink. Um, if you so wish for me to put that on. But as I say, I'm happy either way. Whoop. Whoa! Hang on. Come on. Gee, did nobody notice her? Ow! Jesus! Well, oh, looks like the dog's good for something after all. Oh, here we go. Let's see what skills we can have. Uh, I think I'd like some more science skill. Always more repair skill. Uh, two more medicine skill and... A little bit more speech. Let's go with guns. Guns is always good. Fun never ends when you're going around. Let's see if we got anything new. Where's my pants? <laughs> Destiny Gambler. The Dice of Destiny. I'm taking that. I, I feel like I've made a terrible mistake with the dice of destiny. Let's see, is it uh, is it in my um, in my thingy? My items. Let's just upgrade this. Uh, where is the dice of doom, ladies and gentlemen? It's probably going to be in my aid section, I would expect. However, I have been wrong before. All good stuff, all good stuff. Oh, whiskey. Lovely. Uh, is it in Misk? I wonder what this Dice of Doom does. Distinctive cigarette. Ah, Die of Fortune and Die of Doom. So what can I do with those? Nothing, apparently. What's this? This is Book on the Road. Okay. Oh, fresh apple. Oh, scotch. Yes. Not just your standard whiskey. Ooh, is that a sunset? Yep. Another sunset sars sarsaparilla. Jackal leader Christax. Hello. 
Lawbringer Under Barrel Flamer. Alright, we'll take those. Let's have a look and see what the Lawbringer is. Here it is. Oh, okay. This looks like a cowboy repeater. Let's see if it's actually accurate. Well, that's exactly where I am. Does look pretty cool. Let's see what it's DT, etc. It does 38 damage. 76 a second. Yeah, alright, we'll use this for a little while. And hopefully we'll get the opportunity to uh, use the underbarrel flamer as well. So it's a cowboy repeater with a flamer underneath it. Let's just see. I think we've got to use this section of it for the flamer. So, let's go. Is that coming out of the right section? Let's just have a look. Well, it appears to come out of the barrel of the gun, but that's actually a minor inconvenience, to be honest with you. Go back to that normal door bringer. Whoop! <laughs> what are you doing, Delilah? What's up? What's up? I found this book that you might want. Can we talk about your books? Here we go. Okay. Did you find one? I did. On the road is on your list, right? Ooh, on the road, huh? Just like us. I'll get into this one. On the road again. Well, let's go. Okay, stealth mode on. Well, she sounds a lot sweeter than she did um, with this voice modification. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You don't think there are any rat scorpions in here, do you? Oh, I think it's entirely likely. And we're out here at the moment. Oh, yeah, a little bit of stutter there. Uh, has anybody made use of the New Vegas Stutter Remover? I've seen it up there on the Nexus, but I've never made use of it. Uh, does it actually remove stutter? Uh, and is it a good mod for me to have? Does it combine well with other mods? Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are into New Vegas modding, please do let me know. Uh, I'll be delighted to hear what you tell me. But I'm always delighted to hear what you tell me. You know that. I wonder when the sky will change. Oh. Whoop. Oh yeah. yeah. I think this gun is going to work out for me. Oh, I nearly shot the dog then, the little sausage. That dog is making mincemeat of everything. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a menace to the local wildlife. Some stuff here. Let's have a look in the sack. Some more maize. Never have too much maize. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Looks like somebody's been well into their sunset sass around here. The lighting in here is really cool. Yeast. Some cram. Which I do not want. Ooh. Mayor Stain's Journal. We'll have a read of that in a bit. Pugilism Illustrated. Cool. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, there's all sorts of stuff in here. A large pep cereal bro box. Everything in there is good. Yeah, the stim pack. Good stuff. Vodka. Ugh, don't want vodka. Does very bad things to my insides, does vodka, ladies and gentlemen. I feel very, very ill. For quite a decent amount of time after I've had vodka. I'll stick with the whiskey. Speaking of whiskey, we haven't had one lately, have we, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I think I got some scotch earlier, which sounds delightful. Here it is. Mmm. Magnificent stuff. Did I just drink a whole bottle of scotch? Well, let me tell you, I'd be on my ass. Hup. Hup. 
Oh, it's stuck in the ground. That was unfortunate for it. This gun's working out quite nicely. I don't really like this uh, this permanent little strand of laser. I think that was unnecessary. And uh, to be honest with you, with NVSE you can have a proper laser sight without having that that strand on there, which I don't approve of. But there we are. Uh, that's just a cosmetic difficulty. Shouldn't really have said difficulty there. It's a cosmetic choice on the mod author's behalf. Oh, that thing exploded! Having said that, it's evidently a good gun. <laughs> Wildlife everywhere exploding. Looks like there's uh, some more wildlife we can deal with here. There we go. <clears throat> Don't know what was going on there. Gotta love New Vegas for its uh, occasional strange quirks. I think they're like large rad scorpions over there. Let's see if we can get a pot at them. I hit one then. Whoop. One more to deal with, ladies and gentlemen. Get off my friend Delilah! Oh, Delilah. Uh, you okay, honey? Come on, get up. Get up. The last thing you need from me is mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Have you seen my face? Look at me. Wake up. Is that actually still alive? Oh yes, it was. <laughs> Let's see what we can do about it. Come on, girl. Wake up. Can't have you lying around there all day. People like you, just lazing around. Come in here. Deciding to follow me around, and what do you do? What do you do? You just gotta sleep on the job. It's disgusting. What's this place? The Mesquite Mountains Campsite. Not even sure if I've ever been here before. Oh, maybe I have. Empty whiskey bottles. Scrap electronics. Never have too many of those. Wasteland survival guide. Ooh, a dark gun schematic. That's cool. Should we have a little nap? Oh, camping. Is it not fun? Ooh. Another sunset star. Boss. <laughs> I've I've just lost the ability to speak entirely. Magnificent. Sunset Star Boss... Good Lord. Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. There we are. There's a tongue twister, ladies and gentlemen. One that evidently my puny mind cannot deal with. Okay, over there I think we can see Nipton. In the distance. We've come from there, which is Prim. Uh, but first, before we go anywhere else, let's have a little sprint. Diddlin, 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 diddlin. Oh, that's all the sprinting we're going to get out of me. We need to go to the Mojave Outpost and see what's going down in the hood. There it is. Put the weapon away. Make myself look friendly. The weather has now changed. It's looking significantly less insane than it was before. But night is upon us. more Nevada agave fruit. Am I saying that correctly, ladies and gentlemen? You tell me. 
agave fruit or agave fruit is not something I've ever come across before. Okay. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, friend. Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. Well, you know. What is this place? Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Fair enough, thank you very much. Watch yourself. I should probably make myself look a little bit more presentable. Uh, da, da, da. Let's take those cowboy goggles off. There we go. Should we take Messi off as well? Probably not a good first impression. Oh, Jesus, I should have left Messi on. Look at the state of me. Hello, merchant. Hey there. Need anything? Yeah, we you sure. sale. Here's what I got. Absolutely nothing I want. Rugged Wanderer gear. Sounds interesting. Well, let's see what we can sell him. Uh, let's get rid of that 10mm pistol for the time being. We're going to sell 12 of those to him. Uh, this can go. Uh, let's just see what I can buy off him first. The reason that I think I would like to do that is just by virtue of the fact that right now... God, this guy's selling, un selling anti-material rifle things, even at this point in the game. Interesting. What ammo have you got? Oh, you got some 12 gorge here. Let's, uh... Have what you got of those, and have what you got of those. Alright, cool. Mini nukes? Jesus. This guy's just packing heat. Alright. I want to sell this, but I won't get the maximum amount of money that I can have. Which is a bit of a shame. Ah. Uh. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That'll do for the time being. Thank you very much, sir. And here we are in the Mojave Outpost. Hey there. Hello, Prospector. Howdy. Oh, oh the whiskey's worn off. Better get some more. Oh. Let me know if you see any Brock flowers blooming. I can use them. Okay, honey, will do. Ah, oh, I need whiskey. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Take a look. You have any scotch, girl? Let's have that card and this one. 5.56 pistol. Interesting. This girl's carrying weapons. I mean, I can't remember her carrying weapons before, which she probably did, but... A Brahmin herder outfit, uh, an orange bandana, a winged skull, a head wrap, tactical backpack, we've had one of those before. Yeah, six stim packs though. Let's go with all of those. Take some scotch. And I think what we can do now is we can actually sell that 308. Yeah, cool. Take that right away as well. And some extra whiskey just for the journey. Yeah, what's an atomic cocktail? That looks interesting. Hmm. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. And uh, let's just see if we've got any 12 gauge. Nothing 12 gauge. Let's accept that sale. And I'll be going now. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's prop up the bar. And that is another thing that uh, you may have just noticed. I can... In fact, let's get off the chair. I can see my own body now. That's another modification. I uh, can't remember what it is. Um, I will link it in the description once I remember what it's called. Uh, but it allows me to see my own body and it also <laughs> allows me uh, to take actions in first person. Here we go again. Awesome stuff. Is that not cool? Hey Rose, what do you think? Is that cool? Because I think it's cool. And here I am, propping up the bar like a boss. I look enraged. Delilah, do you want to come and sit down somewhere? You're kind of cramping my style here. I'm waiting for all the foxy ladies to come in, and here you are. Just, she's just giving me the eye, isn't she, ladies and gentlemen? It's just no good. Right. I think that's all I've got time for today. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, uh, please do like and subscribe, and uh, share it on any sites that you think might enjoy this Fallout New Vegas content. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. Gold Ducat, out.